eight fifteen. Why is nobody here? There must be a sale on glitter. <laughs> or maybe Lin Manuel Miranda is doing an impromptu rap somewhere, and everybody's being forced to like it. <laughs> Every reservation. Every one. Cancelled. I don't get it. This is my grand reopening. This place should be fending off drunk bachelorettes crying about their gay cousins in Kansas. You think it might have something to do with the article that was just posted? Read the headline. New owner of Miss Coco's fails to Google Ruby slippers before lying about them. Do you think this is going to affect my big opening? <laughs> it's not funny now. You shouldn't have lied to that reporter, Jack. I know, I know. I just... I want so badly for this to be a success. But you just started. Come on, give it time. Time for what? I never should have bought this place in the first place. Yes, I know, I just said the word place twice. <laughs> Listen, when I bought this place, it was a deli, but... I had a vision. I based the entire concept on something I loved. Me. <laughs> so, you're saying I should make this bar all about me? No, dear, no. It's a business. You want paying customers. <laughs> you gotta put your own stank on it. <sighs> what if nobody likes my stank? <laughs> Listen, life is a gamble. But at least you're rolling the dice. You know, most people don't have the guts to do that. Thanks, Coco, but it's too late. That article's gonna bury me. Every gay guy in New York City is gonna read that story and then retweet it with a mean gif of Beyonce's hair getting caught in a fan. So? You give that reporter another story to tell. Because if there's one thing our people like better than watching one of our own stumble, it's cheering when they get back up for a glorious second act. Look at Renee and Judy. Oh, my God. You're right. You're right, Coco. I'm going to call that reporter and give him a new story. Because God is my witness. I will zellweger this so hard, my opening will be huge. <laughs> And that's funny again. Go ahead. <laughs>